everyone loves versatility in their life that's why cars like the BMW M5 uh, BMW M3 and all of those things are so loved all around the world well in the bike world it's a little bit different people want power people want the good looks but they also want the capability of the bike to go into places where a normal vehicle can't this is the all new Honda CB200X and this is Honda's entry point into the adventure world from their lineup so let me tell you why this is an amazing bike The CB200X is based on the Hornet 2.0 and as we all know the Hornet 2.0 is a very handsome looking bike and well the CB200X well takes a lot of those elements and buffs it up a little bit. On the front end you get a reworked fairing and it gets a taller windscreen as well so that you don't have to uh, get wind on your face basically and it's a very striking and imposing design up front. At the back it more or less looks like the Hornet as well. Uh, you get the X shape uh, LED tail light, at the front you again get a LED headlamp. When it comes to the forks, it's a classic Hornet uh, trademark uh, with the golden USD forks and it looks really really premium. You get an under cowl as well which uh, saves your engine from getting hit with mud, gravel etc etc. Overall it's a very handsome looking bike and it does look quite muscular. What do I think of it? Well, it looks really really nice. Some cool design features that Honda have added are the turn lights integrated into the knuckle guards. And yes, this thing comes with knuckle guards from the factory, it isn't an optional extra. Then the handlebar has been raised up and brought towards the rider to give it that commanding riding position. So does it look like an adventure bike? It definitely does. Looking like an adventure bike is one thing, but is it really one? Well, that depends on your interpretation of adventure. If your interpretation is going to places that no man can go, hardcore off-roading and well, basically thrashing the bike in extreme conditions, well, no, in that sense, the CB200X will not fulfill those expectations. But if your take is going on long rides, visiting different cities and tackling some bad roads on the way, then the CB200X is a brilliant bike. The torquey 180cc motor can keep a good pace on the highways and with the tall windscreen, comfy riding position and comfy suspension setup that is the USD fork up front and the monoshock suspension at the rear, the CB200X is one of the nicest 200cc cruiser bikes you can buy today. But it does heavily fall short on the other side of things, with its disappointing ground clearance of 167mm which is basically the same as the Hornet. The wheels aren't spoked and you get alloys instead. So while doing some shenanigans, they can get damaged, along with the tyres which aren't the best when it comes to the off-road grip that we want. So is it an adventure bike? Yes and no at the same time. Like we mentioned earlier, the CB200X is based on the Hornet platform. So automatically the chassis and the bike itself is a very great platform for a commuter motorcycle. But since the CB200X is apparently geared for a different style of riding, does it lack in the commuting department? Actually no, surprisingly this bike is a great city commuter. With its tall and commanding riding position, you have lots of road presence when you are riding. The handlebars provide great maneuverability and the bike is really easy to turn and steer. Weighing in at around 147 kgs, the CB200X is also not a very heavy bike, so confidence while riding this thing is very high. Here are some of the engine specs of the CB200X. One of the highlights for me with the CB200X is the engine part of things. It gets the same engine from the Hornet 2.0 which is the 184cc liquid cooled single cylinder engine and well in the CB200X it feels a little bit more buff. I mean the low end torque and the mid range is absolutely amazing. Any gear, any RPM, this thing just picks up and goes. That's the best thing about it. It has 17 horsepower and a pretty decent amount of torque, which is 16.1 Newton meters of torque. So even if you're stuck in a little bit of a sticky situation on an off-road course, I think so the CB200X can handle it pretty, pretty well. While designing the CB200X, Honda has kept in mind that not all riders are tall and have long legs. So the CB200X has a very accessible 810mm seat height which makes sure that all sorts of riders can get onto the bike with ease. 
some more cool features and why the CB200X is such a comfortable bike. Well, first of all, the handlebars have been changed. Uh, the handlebar has gotten more towards the rider and it's a wider handlebar so that you have a more comfortable way of sitting. The foot pegs are more or less in the same area, but the seat has changed a little bit. It is a more comfier seat and the seat length has also changed to 613 mm. And another good thing that Honda has kept in mind is that the pillion also needs some comfort. Therefore, it has a split seat setup rather than a single seat configuration. So is the CB200X worth the money? Well, yes and no at the same time. It depends on what you want from a bike. If you want a bike that is an absolute killer machine on off-road tracks and you can absolutely bash it up, well, the CB200X isn't meant for that. It's more of a soft roader and moreover, it's a touring kind of machine. So it's a great daily commuter if you want to go from your home to your, to your office every day. And when it comes to the weekends, you can go for a nice cruise on your nearest highway or something. That's what the CB200X is great at. If you want a bike which is going to go absolutely ham on off-road tracks and everything, do not look at the CB200X. It is not meant for that, even if it has been tagged as an adventure bike. So, if you want a bike which is comfortable to ride on the highways, can munch up a lot of miles and is still good enough to have as your daily commuter, the CB200X is a great shout.